So this is a watermelon strawberry kiwi wine. It is the third batch of wine that I've made so far. And uh, right now, it tastes absolutely terrible. I'm not sure what I did wrong or if it just needs age, but uh, it tastes good initially. You can taste all the fruits. And as soon as it kind of hits the back of your throat, about a second and a half into swish or swallow, it's got this, I don't know how to describe it. It's got a very, very pungent, strong, maybe it's the tannins, I don't know. I don't know enough about wine or wine tasting to kind of figure it out. So what I'm going to end up doing with all these bottles is I'm just going to stick them into uh, a wine rack, give it three months, and then see if it turns out or if it's just total garbage. If it's turned sour at some point in time, maybe my sterilization or my sanitization wasn't good. I don't know what I did wrong. Unfortunately, I don't have the video footage of this or of me making this wine to be able to kind of decode it or to get help from the community. So that's where it is right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, any of the wines that I'm recommending or that I'm showing you how to make will actually taste good. Uh, so wines on this channel, you can trust me on that. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that uh, this thing is absolutely delicious. I Right now it's not drinkable in my opinion at all. So we'll see what age does to the back end of it. Maybe it's just tannins that need to mellow. I don't know. I mean, it looks fantastic. It looks gorgeous. And all of them look great. It cleared really well. Yeah, I'm not going to babble about that uh, too much. Anyway, the other wines that I've made so far, like where is this channel uh, or where am I as far as winemaking goes in my journey. So the very first batch I ever made was a plum wine uh, off of the uh, tree that we have kind of growing in our backyard. Knew nothing, followed a very simple recipe, which is just plums and lemon juice, whatever. I'll put it on the side here so you guys can actually see what that recipe looks like. That one turned out really well. It's actually quite delicious already. No, no off flavors, no nothing. So that one's going to age really well. It just needs uh, a little bit of time. I think it's a little bit green. Uh, it needs some time to age. but So that one's already sitting in my uh, wine rack and collecting some age. Uh, the second one I did was a kit wine, uh, Moscato from Vineco. That wine has been very delicious as well. And uh, I don't know if I regret to inform you or maybe I shouldn't confess, but half of that kit is already gone. So I don't know how many bottles are gonna get aged, but it is already very good, very smooth. And there's not much aging left that needs to happen in that wine for me to be totally just enjoying it. I mean, we're clearly we're enjoying a glass, uh, glass or two every night already since we've made that wine. Quite lovely wine. Highly recommend it. So this is, I guess that'd be batch number. Yeah, this is that would make this one number three. So the first two batches I made, kit wine, super easy. What a way to make good cheap wine at home. Highly recommend it if you're starting out, just go with a kit and uh, don't deal with what I'm dealing with now with this one, trying to figure out uh, what to do different so that it's not a problem next time. As well, right now, I'm also doing videos on this channel of wine start to finish. So this is part for me and this is part for the people that are watching my channel that get a chance to See what I'm doing and uh, you can critique anything I'm doing. I'll take all the advice in the world to try to make better wines. So far the kit wines, uh, I've got a second kit going here right now. And the one right beside it, uh, the kit wine is number five there. Uh, that one's turning it really well. I've got a video start to finish on that one. And then the one beside that there is a nectarine. Shoot, I forget. I'll put the recipe on the side because I forget the ingredients that I'll put in there. But that's a different fruit wine that I started from scratch as well. So I have complete video footage of everything start to finish A to Z on both of those. So if something doesn't turn out, I will at least have a way to kind of reflect back on it. 
anyway that's just a little bit about the channel so uh going forward batch number four five one two and three i don't have video four but batch four five and going forward i will keep track of uh vlog footage etc so that if i screw something up you guys can see and if i make something that's an absolute winner you guys can replicate it and i can replicate it because i know what i'm doing